Hey there, whether you're a seasoned sysadmin or just getting started with Active Directory, today we're diving into the fascinating world of group policies with tips, tricks and best practices to make your environment smoother than ever. Now, you've probably heard about group policies, right? They help us manage users, computers and devices in Active Directory. But there's a lot more to it than just the basics. Today, we're breaking down key concepts like templates, preferences, loopback policy, and how to keep your setup clean and, and scalable. So what's the difference between computer and user templates? Great question. Computer templates apply settings to, well, computers. These settings stick no matter who logs in. Think disabling USB ports or enforcing firewall rules. On the flip side, user templates follow users no matter where they log in. Think of things like desktop wallpaper or control panel restrictions. What is the key takeaway? Before you create a policy, just think, is this for the computer or the user? That is simple, right? Now let's talk about the uh, loopback policy. This one's for those tricky situations where you need user settings to change based on the computer they log into. For example, imagine you want different settings when users log into a remote desktop server but don't want to mess with their usual desktop experience. Enter loopback policy. You can either merge the policies or replace the user's policies entirely depending on the situation. Super useful for specialized workstations or remote desktops. Okay, quick tip for all you pros, setting up a central store for your ADMX files makes your life so much easier. Just log into your domain controller, head to sysvol, create a policy definitions folder and drop in your ADMX templates. Boom! All your policies stay consistent across the domain. Trust me, this small step saves a ton of headaches later on. Nobody wants to deal with policies named GP01 or policy2. That's a disaster waiting to happen. Instead, use clear descriptive names like computer policy, USB restrictions, or user policy, desktop wallpaper. This way, anyone managing policies will see what policy is used for what at a glance. And finally, don't bundle too many settings into one giant group policy object. It's tempting, but trust me, it's better to split them up. Not only does this give you more flexibility, but it also makes troubleshooting a breeze. Plus, there's no performance penalty for having multiple smaller policies. So let's wrap this up. Here are your group policy best practices. One, use administrative templates to lock down critical settings. Two, go for preferences when you want to give users a bit more control. Three, Leverage the loopback policy for those special use cases. Fourth, set up a central store to keep things consistent. Five, and please use clear naming conventions. Your future self will thank you. Follow these tips and you will be managing group policies like a pro in no time. Thank you so much for your ongoing support and for helping me get this far on my journey. If you would like to support the channel further, consider joining as a YouTube member or buying me a coffee on Ko-fi. By becoming a member, or even just buying me a single coffee, you'll gain access to our Discord community, where we can chat and hang out. If financial support isn't an option, no worries at all. Simply subscribing, liking, and leaving a comment on the videos is a huge help. Every little bit boosts the channel with the YouTube algorithm, and I truly appreciate it. See you in the next video, or on Discord.